All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve the equation five to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to 650. So in this equation, we only have one variable x. And for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting this over here so I have mo more space to solve. And what I'm first going to do is rewrite 25 here as 5 squared. So now I get 5 to the power of x plus 5 squared to the power of x is equal to 650. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. However, a to the power of m times n is also equal to a to the power of n times m. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of m meaning a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now, using this information, I can rewrite 5 to the power of 2 to the power of x as 5 to the power of x to the power of 2. And now the reason I did all of this is because now I'm going to let 5 to the power of x equal to the variable t. And if I substitute in t for 5 to the power of x, I get t plus t squared is equal to 650. And now I can subtract 650 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get t squared plus t minus 650 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation, which is much easier to solve than an exponential equation. So to solve this quadratic equation, what I'm going to do is rewrite 650 as 25 times 26. So now I get t squared plus t minus 650 is equal to 0. And this is also equal to t squared minus 25t plus 26t minus 650 is equal to 0. So now from here, what I'm going to do is factor by grouping. So I'm going to factor t squared minus 25t and 26t minus 650. So from t squared minus 25t, the greatest common factor is t. So I get t times t minus 25. Now from 26t minus 650, well, 650 or 26 is a factor of 650 so the greatest common factor is going to be 26 so i get 26 times t minus 650 divided by 26 is 25 and this is all equal to zero now from here notice how i have t minus 25 in both terms meaning I can factor out t minus 25. So now I get t minus 25 times t plus 26 is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get t minus 25 is equal to 0 
and I also get t plus 26 is equal to 0. So these are two simple equations for t minus 25 equals 0. I can add 25 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get t is equal to positive 25. And for t plus 26 equals 0, I can subtract 26 on both sides. So then I get t is equal to negative 26. So I have two solutions for t. Now, going back to our, my original value of t, we let t equal 5 to the power of x, meaning I get two equations from these two values of t. I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 25, and I also get 5 to the power of x is equal to negative 26. However, let's pay attention to this equation right here. 5 to the power of x equals negative 26. So there is a problem with this equation. How can we take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative? Because no matter how low x is, like we can make x negative 100, this is the same thing as 1 over 5 to the power of 100, which is greater than 0. So we can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to a negative number, meaning this equation has no solution. So our only equation that has a solution is 5 to the power of x equals 25, which results in x equaling 2, because 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 25. Now what I'm going to do is check to see if x equals 2 is the right solution. So our original equation was 5 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to 650. So x is equal to 2, and if I plug in my value of x, I get 5 to the power of 2 plus 25 to the power of 2 is equal to 650. Now from here, 5 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 25, plus 25 to the power of 2, which is 25 times 25, is going to equal 625. So I have 25 plus 625 is equal to 650. And 25 plus 625, that is equal to 650. So I get 650 is equal to 650. And this statement is true meaning that my solution x equals 2 is right as well.